Hello, everybody. We do apologize. We did lose the stream. I was told to blame James. Uh, all good. We think. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, but you know, getting that good, good coverage is always that good. B-roll is always good. We do apologize for that, everybody. If you can please do us a favor and reshare this. We will be going racing at 1 o'clock. Share it out into the algorithm. Like I said, once again, we do apologize for the drop. A final coming soon, exactly X Tech. Thank you for joining us. You guys get the best of two worlds. You get to see some e buggy racing this morning for the World Cup, and then later on, some uh, racing from the Psycho Nitro Blast. So it's all good. That's not good. Mm. James, James is getting some good, good B-roll out there. It's probably got a whole cake of mud in there. That's what it is. Yeah, we just look, we're just looking at some uh, footage that James has and he got some really good footage of the slow motion. Yeah, absolutely. A whole Sunday of racing are uh, their x tech Like old Neo Buggy days when you used to take my entire Easter off to watch Neo Buggy. Love that race. I missed it too because I never got to go to it. Maybe you can have Neo Buggy in Bekia. Uh, in Bekia where, uh, where Phil is, from, is at right now. And expensive. What's up, Mikey B? How you doing, man? Sim life for li sim life for life. Sim racing for life. Uh, my good friend Mike Hill. I guess summertime he'd be out there flying around in the dragon and the ghost. You're you really fast, That's, dude. You would love the mountain roads up here. I uh, it was like when you took me up to the tail of the dragon for the first time. It's very nerve wracking. I was trying to tell Figueredo as well, man. I said you got to come to America. Rent a big car and do the um, Tale of the Dragon. Sobra, 
I be the guy. Try and keep up. He, you know what he said to me, Mikey? After yesterday, we went zooming through the mountains yesterday, last night, in a Toyota van. He goes, oh, next time you come, I'm going to take you for a drive in my rally car. And I said, no, no, no. No, no, no. Well, I happen to like life. And I want to try and live as much of it as possible. I probably will fit in the uh, rally seats anyway. So I'm going to have to lose some weight. And that's a goal. And I think the person that does the passenger side is the most crazy person anyway. Good morning, Rory Holler. I hope you're having a nice cup of coffee and getting ready. We have about nine minutes to go before our next A final starts. Get a little mobile here. As we wait. Oh, what are you drawing, Helder's daughter? Oh, very nice. Thanks. Very nice. She's drawing an e buggy. Needs an engine, though. Nitro is the glory. Helder, you have an artist here. Excuse me. Very nice. Do you like drawing? Alrighty, so just a few minutes before we get cracking and get on with A2 of the 2024 E-Buggy World Cup here in Machinas, Guarda, Portugal. Picturesque, beautiful scenery around here. I have not been disappointed in Portugal yet. It has surprised me each place that I've been and I absolutely love, her, love it here. Rory Holler, thank you for the super chat. You can also join this awesome YouTube channel and you know what you've become a RC racing TV hero and they have over 17 years of RC content I've been fortunate to work by work with them for many many years what's up Tony Firth good job to you guys raising over thirty thousand dollars in Australia through that race uh, don't forget to send me all the details on that hey so Tony Firth what happened is obviously we have the 2024 e-buggy world cup here for those of you who don't know this is the predecessor to having the world championships so next year 2025 at the b-buggy arena in barcelos they will have the first ever uh, world championship if my world championship for e-buggy and there is talks of possibly including e truggy in that as well but per if my rules and this is probably an archaic rule good morning gary crosby welcome to the uh to the race they have to have a world cup race now this is something for new classes that are being introduced into the world cup we saw last year uh, i believe you was covering that tony down there in australia where jorn newman won the gt electric world cup so this does not make you a world champion it is a, a good feather in your cap uh, i was talking to carlos about it there we see uh, a, uh juan carlos's car getting teched I was talking to Carlos Gomez about it yesterday, and they're thinking about doing away with the World Cup altogether because it's something that is probably back from the 80s. 
then you know we didn't have internet and all that good stuff and we didn't we were it wasn't easy to check on events uh it just seemed to be an extra soft uh extra uh extra cost for these manufacturers to send their drivers here hence why we don't have such a big big turnout here but it's mandatory to hold and we will see i'm sure next year in barcelos we will see a bigger turnout with drivers coming from around the world to participate somebody everybody's going to want to be the first ever e-buggy world championship because once you get that if my world championship on it it just uh, steps it up a notch it becomes even more prestigious and as I, you know, as my famous saying goes, nitro is the glory, but e-buggy pays the bills. Well, it is. E-buggy is absolutely huge around the world. And e-truggy is growing. It's a great, uh, great, great gateway entry class to RC. So right now, as you can see, the testing for battery voltage, they can't be over a certain voltage. And then after the race, the cars have to then slide through this box and, 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 and also make weight because there are rules. Right now, uh, Juan Carlos Canas took A1. He was the TQ. He TQ'd all wrong yesterday. We did have some rain overnight. Uh, we did have to delay the start to 11 o'clock as the track was dried out. We're all clear of beautiful sun and uh, a beautiful day here uh, up in the mountains for the rest of the day. So no worry about that. The track is very slippery. The name here is that we got lots of four wheels uh, sliding going on around, but the problem is that these drivers, a lot of them are struggling with forward bite. Uh, not JC3 though, he's, he's, he's got all the forward bite he needs. So it's excellent. Uh, I wanna say a big shout out to the Portuguese Federation, Mr. Jose Figueiredo. I've watched how hard him and his crew have worked to make this happen. Uh, he's treated me very well. Obviously, we had the IBC last weekend, which is their big race, and Barcelos was unfortunately rained out. Uh, they said they're going to move it to May next year. And, oh, there's a, a Figueiredo's Techno. Tire choice of the weekend. I just went in there. Uh, Oof. Recons for for and the softest compound that JC has, and the 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 hot race guys are kind of bouncing between. I think, uh, as I was talking, I don't think y'all has found a tire that he likes yet. Looks like Montero has a, on a good tire as well. He likes it, but there you can see. I think that is the. I'm not sure whose car that is, but they're going out on almost like a. That almost looks like an AKA double down type of tire and there you see Thomas Musa who's going out on these old school I, I, I call them old school bow tie esque big pin tires so it's a plethora of different tires out here Ka Ken Calhoun because just been struggling with grip when it was dry we see a lot of four wheel drive drifting so everybody's just trying to find a tire that works but the only person who isn't really struggling is JC3 uh, so he has got all the grip that he needs and if he takes this A2, he will be your first ever e-buggy World Cup champion. Did we see Ricardo Montero, who finished second? I can't see what tires he's running. Maybe uh, somebody who's familiar with all the treads of the hot race tires can see. Uh, it looks like I'm trying to read maybe Vesuvio. No, Vesuvio is the diamond cut. Not sure. I did get a chance to pop in there real quick and have a chat with him. I'd have to get back up here. Montero took a very solid second. I agree, K-Swap Shop, spec tires is the way. I think uh, spec tires, 1-8 scale racing yeah, is the only class that doesn't have spec tire. I'm not saying that every class, has, every race has to be spec tire, but it's definitely would help. So. so. What's up, Jay Zellner? Are you tuning in? I want to say congratulations to you and your wife coming up soon with the birth of your, your new baby coming soon. And uh, he's down there in Myrtle Beach. And shout out to Will McGiver and Don Elliott, both making the main over there in Intermediate Nitro Buggy with those Agama N1s. Hello, Graham McRobert. How are you? First time watching this. Hi, all. Uh, welcome to RC Racing, sir. Uh, this is actually a thing. This is the World E-Buggy World Cup. A uh, little bit of a light entry. You'll see some nitro cars out here running. But yes, this is an absolute uh, 
I want to. It's it's our sport. It's a hobby, but it's also a sport at the same time. And if you really want to see some more RC racing, just go back into videos and f and past lives on the RC Racing TV channel here, and you will see a plethora of content over 17 years by the RC Racing TV crew. And before we get started, as these guys go on their two-minute warm-up, I want to say a big thank you to our sponsors, Rudog EU S Works, Hot Race Tires, Hobby Wing, and X Ray. Also, a big shout out to the local Portuguese Federation for all their support. You see a beautiful shot of this track. And starting on pole is JC3, our current Nitro Buggy European Champion, coming off the big win at DNC and E Buggy. David Todd, who I talked to him, he had something get stuck in his steering and caused him to drop back. Jao Figueredo trying to get some forward bite to uh, improve his position. Ricardo Montero, who took second. Thomas Nuso, the Mangani, the, uh, the Monica Ness from Monaco. Harold Sandoroff, who was doing very well from Israel. Christian Vilar from Spain. Carlos Fonseca from Portugal. And Rui Britas. So as the drivers will get lined up, lined up. Let's see, can Litos Figueroa find what he needs to challenge JC3? Will JC3 run away with this? He has run away with the entire race so far. So he might want to be able, he might want to wrap this up in two A finals. So how this works, we have three 10 minute A finals. If the, uh, if JC3 wins this final, he will be your champion. He does not need to run third final. <coughs> I do apologize. Oh, we had the stream go down. Nine, Sorry, Frito. As we get ready to start, they are on the count. The, six, we are five, getting ready four. to start. And they will go on the turn. Let's get ready to boogity, boogity, boogity as they are off. And JC3 gets off to another solid start. In tow is his fellow Spaniard, David Todd. And right behind him is Litos Figueroa. He is, look, Litos is aggressive move. Gets by David Todd and now sets his sights on JC3, Lito says, I need to. Oh, and Lito gets it wrong, but he gets back. That little mistake is going to give some breather into JC3. He wants to make this go to an A3. Can we see the 10 time Portuguese national and that yellow and orange black wing techno make a challenge to the, the red and blue S works of JC3? It's Lito, it's JC3, Lito's David Todd, Thomas Musso, Ricardo Montero, your top five. And it is close behind. Let's stay. Oh, Montero shutting down. He is out of the race. So it looks like it's going to be a DNF for Montero. And that's going to let David Todd. Now, David Todd taking an aggressive move through the Dragon's back, trying to get that move on JC3. Let's drop back and get to that second place and third place battle because JC3 is just pulling away ever so slightly. Let's drop back when they come across the line if we can. And let's catch up to that second and third place battle because that's where it's at. Oh no, it looks like Lito's made another mistake. It's going to be David Todd out to the front and Lito. Oh no, Lito's crashing out somewhere. So it's David Todd and Musso. Harold Sandoroff right there. So it's Karat. It's JC3, David Todd, Thomas Musso, Harold Sandoroff, and Joao in fifth. So not sure what happened to Joao. It happened off camera. He might be off the track, to be honest, or maybe he missed a lap. You'll we'll see. But David Todd in that Mugen, who was very fast. Thomas Musso in that prototype Corelli as Todd comes by. That was a 34-9. JC3 looking to check out and become your first ever e-buggy World Cup champion. But he is not that far ahead. David Todd, who was looking very fast yesterday, is setting his sights on the multi-time Spanish champion and multi-time European champion. That is JC3. Thomas Musso right behind him in that blue and pink car, looking to have something to say about that. Todd looking very solid out in that Mugen MBX8. And Musso getting it wrong, getting it up on the pipe, and that is going to give some breathing ring to this youngster, 15 years old, David Todd, making the trip here from Spain to race in the E-Buggy World Cup. Can he set his sights on JC3 and chase him down? Figueredo is out of this race, unfortunately. Not sure what happened to him. I will find out when I take a walk down into the pits later on. So Figueredo not able to get up here and challenge JC3. Can David Todd do it? Oh no, and David Todd gets it wrong on that clip on that pipe, and there's no tire marshal there. So unfortunate for him, that's going to allow Thomas Musso by. So can Musso, oh, and Sandoroff is right there as well. So it's going to be JC3, David Todd, Thomas Musso, Harold Sandoroff, Christian Vilar in fifth. 
Carlos Fonseca, Ricardo Montero back on track. Jao Figueredo is out. We are currently following the man from Monaco. That is Thomas Musso, yellow wheels, black wing, pink and blue, blue and pink paint job. Right behind him is Sanderoff, and chasing down Sanderoff is uh, David Todd. David Todd, who made, oh, and Todd goes for the inside. Aggressive move, two Mugens clashing together in that 180. Great move. Can Sanderoff hold on and tow? David Todd looking to get a second. He was very fast in that first A1, but had something go wrong with his car. Sets his sight on Musso. Let's follow David Todd, that white wheeled, clear winged Mugen. Right in front of him is Thomas Musso. Any mistake by Musso, and we will see David Todd capitalize on that. And there is Musso. There is Montero, but he is actually scored down in seventh. As we get back on track, there's Musso coming by. There's David Todd coming through those quads as they go onto this front straightaway. Let's see. David Todd, will he send it? Nope, he goes to the safe round. Let's get to that second battle. Sandorov is now currently in fourth. Let's move up a little bit further and find that battle for second. There it is. David Todd with five minutes and 45 seconds left to go. He has made some... Ooh, and they are very close on the track. Oh, Musso getting up on two wheels around that 180, and that is going to allow... The young oh David Todd making an aggressive, very good move through the dragons back on the inside, making it stick through this quad section. He goes up and over. Very good move by David Todd. Had he not made that mistake early and have that long term mastery, you might have seen him challenging JC3. Right now, JC3 is walking away with it. And David Todd pulling away from Musso. Musso testing out that prototype Corali based off a ready-to-run car. And we see Todd in that Mugen, but right now JC3 is just out in front. He's not looking back. The battle is right here between second, third, and fourth between David Todd, Thomas Musso, and the young Harold Sandorov. So we have two youngsters, two 15-year-olds versus Musso, who's in his 20s. And there is JC3 navigating his way through some traffic. Very good. No harm, no foul. Traffic on this nice track as the track is starting to groove in a little bit. You can see a line forming. We did get a lot of water last night, and now it's all been uh, it's all been swept off. Over that double go, will we see JC3? Nope, he still goes to safe round in qualifying yesterday. He was double single. That JC3 of a 34-1. He has a fast lap of a 33-7. He's currently on an 18-lap 10-13 pace. <clears throat> David job. Todd is about mm, 15 seconds back. So after that big mistake by Todd, that cost him quite a lot. But he's still battling with Thomas Musso. Let's find that battle for second and third between Thomas Musso in the Corrali and David Todd, who's currently in second. So the battle will be for second after this because JC3 will wrap it all up in these two mains. And there we see young David Todd, who has stretched out a slight gap on the Monacan ace. That is Thomas Musso. And Todd looking very solid. He was very fast yesterday. Uh, I think a surprise to the local Portuguese guys, João Figueiredo, one of the fastest drivers in Europe. Uh, but was struggling a little bit, trying to get some forward bite out of his techno car. And there we see that Mugen MBX8 looking absolutely planted. And that Corali is actually a pillow ball car. So pillow balls, one, two, and three, and four at the moment, and five, because now we see Ricardo Montero in that X ray, now getting up into that fifth spot. Figueredo gonna have a DNF here. Uh oh, and David Todd just clips that pipe. We're calling it Montero's mm -hmm. corner, because he's clicked it plenty of times. And that is going to be a 35 1 for David. Musso up 34 8. So Musso on the gas trying to catch up to the young man from spain via ireland he's actually from ireland but lives in spain and it's jc3 david todd thomas musso harold sandorov and we are on board with the corali driver very good driver uh used to drive for hb rcgp rc2 champion does a lot of his racing in france obviously he is french he's also for, i believe he lives in monaco but he is not too far behind that mugen of David Todd, but he's going to have to get on it if he wants to do it. That was a 34-6 to a 34-8 just now. So let's see if Musso can catch up to Todd and make it a race. Todd navigating his way through some back traffic. 
And that bird's well for Musso, but he has to go through the same traffic to try and catch him up. And right now, we can see just out of sight, David Todd trying to get around the orange car of Fosenka, and he gets by. So if Musso can get by the snap traffic, well done. He gets by Christian Vilar, sets his sight on Fonseca. Fonseca just coming onto the straightaway. That was a 34-8 for Musso and a 34-6 that time by for David Todd. So it's JC3, David Todd, Thomas Musso, Harold Sandorov, and Ricardo Montero in fifth. As we are going to pick up with 90 seconds left to go, let's pick up on, I guess we're going to find JC3. And see how he does. Here's Montero, who, after having a shutdown early in the race, gets back on track. And there is David Todd, actually, that white, red, and blue car. He has pulled off a gap. That's a 34 5 that time by. Musso of a 33 6. So Musso about a tenth and a half off of the pace of David, but not too far on the track as they come through that S section chicane, but not much time with less than a minute left to go. And now we're going to follow our champion. When this is over, if it stays like this, he will be your E2000 inaugural 2024 E-Buggy World Cup champion. Coming off an impressive win at PMB here a few weeks ago. Beating some of the best in the world at the DNC in Paris. One of the most prestigious races in RC. This man looking to become your World Cup winner. It will not be a world champion, he'll be a World Cup winner, but hey, no harm. And he does the double single, put it on the show, knowing he doesn't have much time. He doesn't have much time to take the victory. He will be able to chill out, maybe go over and celebrate his victory over there in the club, the adjoining, adjoining club, with a few frosty beverages. JC3, after this final, and barring that he passes tech after this, will be your first ever e-buggy World Cup champion european champion world cup champion dnc e-buggy champion this man is racking up championships and he's still only 22 one of the best racers in the world and a nice double single and well done to jc3 your unofficial world cup champion there we see the young man from spain he'll be happy about that as he shows very little emotion lito's not too happy about having that mistake or that dnf so it's going to be JC3, David Todd, Thomas Musso, Harold Sandorov, Ricardo Montero, Christian Vilar, Carlos Fonseca, and a DNF from Ruri Brites and Joao Figueiredo. Wow. So there we go. JC3, unofficially your World Cup champion. All right, so we have a few questions in here. Let me see. I'll go down and have a little walk with these guys. Um, Graham, uh, if you want to check out some kit prices, uh, go to Model Tune. Check out, look, look for Model Tune. It's, uh, you have kits that are just chassis. You have some ready to runs. I was suggest getting into the e-buggy class. Maybe uh, there's lots of racing going on over in the UK as well. Not sure what part of the UK you're in. But Model Tune is a great online shop and a good friend of mine. Uh, but there's a lot to learn. Uh, it's not a complete car if you just buy a kit. You can, these cars are just like you buy a chassis, you buy a motor, you buy a radio <laughs> servers and all that stuff. You might want to start off with a ready to run kit and learn it. Uh, you let me know where you are in the UK and I'll probably point you in the right direction to some tracks as well. Oh, you're in Scotland. Okay. Um, that's a little bit harder. All right. So just getting word from our... I'll, I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit more before I head down and get some lunch. Uh, but yes, right now we're going to have a static cam. For now, Let me. I'll let you know when we are back up for our last A3. Final run will be at 2 o'clock, so in about 45 minutes from now, we will leave the static cam up for the Nitro drivers. Uh, I'm going to go off and uh, get a little snack. I'm a big boy, and I have to keep my figure. Uh, I'll be back to talk to you guys once I have a snack. I'm going to go talk to some of the racers, find out what's going on, and I'll find out what happened to Jao. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Don't go anywhere. You can watch the... The stream and I will be back.
Vitor Vitor Dias, Sra. Deus Boas, Vitor Sampaio, Rui Matos, Daniel Almeida e Luís Pereira. 30 segundos para abrir a pista. A pista está aberta. Um minuto para o início da manga.
Presta atenção às entradas aqui. Três e quatro, exatamente. Trabalha em conjunto, dá um passo. Ui, olha aí, na frente do trio, Cada um está com problema. Race is over, all cars through the pit lane. Please remind me to start the work. Para o poder vão pintar e os outros trabalhadores vão correr. E o outro da manga 2, vão se preparando, a pista abre dentro de 4 minutos e meio. E o outro da manga 1, um, vamos pintar.
Ditador ao vosso lugar. Dois minutos para abrir a pista. Um minuto para abrir a pista. Dez segundos. Pista está aberta. Conjunto, dá um espaço. Sete 
Dois e cinco, trabalho em conjunto. Vai no
é dentro da porta do lado, dentro do lado. Rápido para si, quanto para o Muito obrigado. Corrida terminou, todos os carros para a volta. Pode cortar a pista para ser mais rápido. Fazemos agora uma pequena pausa e voltamos sensivelmente dentro de mais ou menos 15 minutos para mais uma ronda de finais e qualificações. We will do a small break and we will come back more or less in 15 minutes to last final round of echo and qualification for Nitro. Thank you. 
All right, guys. Hello, I am back after taking a, a a meal break. You know, I have a very rotten shape to keep in shape, and it takes constant feeding. <laughs> um, we have a few questions in here. Jimmy Kincaid, Nitro Buggies, yes. Uh, so basically, being as the low turnout, they had the encourage some of the Nitro guys to come out here and run. A lot of them came today, and uh, yeah, should be good. Graham was thinking of starting off with 10 scale to get used to that, That's actually really good. There is a good carpet track in, in, in Scotland. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's on the tip of my tongue because I know the guys that are involved in it. Um, but yeah, in the UK, like 10 scale is really popular. You can find lots of tracks. Uh, uh, Glasgow, I know. I'll find out. Um, if, you, if you want, add me on Facebook, Keenan Keith White, and I will, uh, I will put you in contact with some people over there that can probably help you out. But yeah, two-wheel drive, 10 scale on carpet and AstroTurf is king in the UK. So definitely where you want to start. And I enjoyed my time over there racing two-wheel drive buggy x tech i agree if lefty start out with an electric as it's much easier and nitro is more for the skilled hobbyists well it also depends what os os are the biggest models of e-cars you're running the car at yeah but i think uh in the uk definitely start off with 10 scale two-wheel drive it's a little cheaper it's definitely fun because it's grip right away and I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. The point is to get you guys into RC and keep you in RC. So you can always start with a certain class and then you can always move to different classes. I, I for one, love nitro buggy racing. Uh, I love e-buggy racing, but nitro is my favorite. I don't encourage people to get nitro buggies right off the bat unless you actually have somebody that has some experience working with nitro buggies for you. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, a big shout out to our sponsors Rudog EU, S Works, Hot Race Tires, Hobby Wing, X Ray. A big shout out to Jose Figueredo and all his hard work, as well as the Portuguese Federation for making this happen. Happen here in Macayenes, Guarda, Portugal. And RC Racing TV for bringing you all the coverage. And don't forget to hit that sub notification and like button on this YouTube channel. Help them reach 100K subs. I know Matt would love that. I'd love to see that happen so they could get their YouTube plaque. I don't think I'll ever see that unless I start a bashing channel of some sort, which may happen. Uh, uh, if you want to get into some real RC uh, nitty gritty, you can go check out the No Name RC podcast on YouTube and all podcast apps as well as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And give us a follow, a like, a share there. And we geek right out on RC. Ooh, Ken Calhoun sent me some pictures of his, his ride. Ooh, I like it. I like it. No, no, ooh, it looks very nice. Oh, man. Ken? Ooh, that's going to be dialed. That's going to be dialed. One of the best crawler courses I went to was in Chile actually and uh, 
It had three different courses. Uh, and I had so much fun. Like, even Robert was like, I want to drive on the course, Lefty. I want to drive on the course. Robert Baddiel was with me. Of course, JQ paid no attention to the, the, uh, paid no attention to it. Tim Lime, congratulations. S-Works won the inaugural World Cup. JC3 hammered guys out there. He won it in A1 and A2. Good job to you guys. Brandon Roers taking, uh, excuse me. Brandon Roers taking TQ in that nitro buggy. That was impressive. Camden Lime was looking impressive too. So well done to the S-Works guys. That's, uh, but you guys are the first World Cup champions. Good job. Hope you're having fun there in White Pine. Good buddy. And uh, good luck to you S-Works drivers out there at, uh, in, at PMB. b is looking very fast. Lime looking good too. It's going to be a tough race. Tough race. Yeah, uh, I, enjoy the, I found them very hard to work on. All three cars, so it's, it's, oh yeah, Mason as well. Yeah, Mason's there. He had a, he had a bad first run, and a, he got second, the sex run, second run. So the Iceman is on fire. Brandon Rose is on fire. Well done. Uh, the S-Rex cars are doing well on both big continents. And uh, it's awesome to see. He is definitely looking good. Definitely looking good. Yeah. Yeah, lots to learn, Graham. Uh, like I said, lots of YouTube channels out there. You can check out Invisible Speed RC as well. That's a great, great learning channel. Uh, obviously, this channel for lots of old content. Um, Kevin, uh, Ryan Styles Harris is another good, good, especially for 10 scale. He's a very good channel for that. Look up Ryan Styles Harris. No Name RC podcast for just pure geeking out, controversial stuff, and very good interviews over the last five years. <clears throat> Spencer Rivkin has a good channel as well. Uh, the Hall Brothers in the UK have a very good channel uh, dedicated to 10 scale racing and what they do there in the UK. I, I think it's the Hall Brothers RC, not sure. Uh, but if you, if, you hit, if you send me a message on, on Facebook, or look up the No Name RC podcast on Facebook. Shoot me a message. And uh, I'll, I'll send you as many links as I can. But I will be traveling tomorrow. I'm going back to the, 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 where, I, where I live in the Dominican Republic. After I get done with this race. This ends a four weekend stint on the road. Uh, I go home for two weeks. And then I'm back at it at the North Georgia Challenge. In Tiger, Georgia. But right now, after this is done, we're going to... So we will be going off air. Uh, trying to figure out what we're doing here if we're gonna continue streaming the race or we're done after a3 I wish all my RC racing family over there in the USA and tennis white pines Tennessee at the 17th annual psycho nitro blast a lot of luck oh yeah the RC bikes are nice yes they race them as well so I wish you all the best at the Psycho Nitro Blast. It's going to be some exciting racing that I'll probably tune into later on. Let me just find out what we're doing here today, and I will be right back. All right, so we will end our stream after A3. Uh, we do greatly appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out with us today. And all weekend, I'm pretty sure uh, you'll get over to some of the PMB action because that will be going on all day to late tonight. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what they're scheduled to be done. And a big shout out to our sponsors: Rudog, S Works, Hot Race, Hobby Wing, X Ray, the Portuguese Racing Federation, the Figueiredo family, and RC Racing TV. So they do. They still have some nitro racing. Then they're having a part. They're actually having a a party here or a, a seventy a celebration of the seventh seventy first anniversary of this club. It started out as a football club. It's had various iterations. It's it's got a nice little club over there that people hang out in. It, it was jam packed last night with people uh, having frosty beverages and watching football. 
<clears throat> but one more race to go. We have already crowned our World Cup champion, which is Juan Carlos Canas. Well, I, I don't know how they feel about saying alcoholic beverages online. People that listen to the podcast know it's frosty. You know, we are kind of a family-friendly channel here. So we don't want to give any... I mean, we are in Europe, and there are Sagres flags flying all around here. And they do have frosty beverages on tap, so, you know. It is very similar to motocross, Graham, and actually the, actually the same physics as motocross. So, <clears throat> as in when in motocross, when you hit the brakes on, the nose comes, the front of the bike comes down, when you accelerate, the, 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 the front of the bike picks up. You can whip the cars as well. Some of the top drivers can whip these cars, scrubbing speed off the jumps like uh, James Stewart used to do. And I've seen some of the top drivers do some amazing things with these cars. I've done some amazing things with these cars, but trust me, it was all by pure luck and accident. I did not know what I was doing, and I was surprised that I even pulled it off. But, yeah, same physics as motocross, just with all using the gyrational forces of the car and the wheels spinning and the wheels turning in the air. You can make these cars fly with one wing, that's what I say. And as technology and cars get better and driving skills get better we're starting to see these younger drivers doing more and more incredible things with these uh, racing machines especially <clears throat> in these 1-8 scale nitro buggies and e-buggies you can set the differentials so you have three different di in the in the 8 scale class you have three different gen differentials you adjust the feet the acceleration and handling of the car with different weight oil in the differentials the shocks are fully adjustable. We have different spring rates, different vis viscosity oils, different uh, number of uh, different pistons with different uh, uh, quantity of holes or bigger holes and whatnot. Less holes with bigger holes. It's so much to do than it to do than it's a whole bunch of geometry stuff that you can do to make the car handle better. And then there's tires. It's tires, 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 tires. Uh, I mean, at one of these big races, uh, that's why we're talking about a spec tire. There we go. Helder's young daughter was sitting there. I was wondering what she was doing. I thought she was writing, and she was just scribbling away, and she has concocted this beautiful picture with a pen. But I told her, it's an e-buggy, and we need to put a nitro engine in there. So well done to Helder's 11-year-old daughter. I might get my uh, GoPro out and go for a little walk around, maybe show off the facility here. I do have to repack my bags and get ready to leave her early tomorrow morning. As we see the drivers come in, and there's Joao Figueredo, not too happy. I went to talk to him. He said he lost a servo. He's on Temecula tires. Figueredo is on Miami, so JC3 does not have to run this. He's already won it. So there we go. Joao Litos making that move from Kyosho to Tecno this year, along with the two young up and coming racers from Spain, Daniel Parente, and they're checking battery voltage, Graham. So you can't be over a certain voltage. Oh, so JC3 is going to go out. One thing I have to say JC3's car has looked clean every run he's going on a different set of tires too so probably just testing out some tires while he's here taking advantage of the last a main he's already won this so yeah they check voltage you can't be over a certain voltage if you are you get one chance by just revving the car up to to uh to to get that voltage out of there They also will, you see that box, uh, it's going now, but there's a plastic box there, and the cars have to slide uh, up and down with that with, uh, with ease. There's the Mugen of David Todd. Three minutes to open the track. 
drive. We will do two warm up laps and then stop at the grid. All right, so we got about three minutes to go before we get started on our last final of the day. Can somebody beat the man who has been JC3? Time to party. Can somebody pip the man to beat, which has been Juan Carlos Canas, the S-Works J Concepts Reds driver from Spain, or JC3 as he's now called? Come in here. I, I, I applaud him coming here, being professional, being here, having fun, doing all his races, and taking this seriously. He is now a World Cup champion. One minute and 50 seconds to open the track. All right, so these guys will go out and get two warm-up laps, and then they will get on ready to race. Thirty seconds before they open the track, so we will be doing the. <coughs> so after this race, this is now official. We will be having a 2025 Ifmar Ifmar World Championship coming to the B Buggy Arena in Barcelos, Portugal, about two three hours drive from here uh, to the coast, and that will be happening at one of the most beautiful facilities that I've been to. If you want to see more about that, you can go look up the 2022 Afro European Championships that was held there. Or go to my NNRC page and look up a facility walkabout and track walkabout I done there, the No Name RC podcast page. So, lots of good stuff coming here. I've been here in, in Portugal for two weeks now. Came for the IBC. Yes, only slick tires they use are indoor clay tracks that are predominantly in America, Graham. So, Club RC, turn on David Todd. Yep, he had some bad luck in the first uh, first run. Avar, uh, he got his steering was kind of, uh, it got locked up, his dad said. And he was fast. But he'd be looking to, to uh, definitely... Let's go to your great position. All right, we're getting ready to start here. Last A final of the day. 15 he is, uh, he told me. 15, not 17. Might have heard it wrong, but I'm sure he said 15. We did a nice interview with him. 
Do we see JC3 making a start? This is something we don't see much. Usually once they win the first two A2s, they hey. don't come back. But no. using this time to test, let's get ready okay. to rumble. JC3 has won it already. Wow. Who can? The race cool. is for second. And they are off. JC3 getting off to another solid start. David Todd right behind him. There is Lito Figueredo followed by Montero, Musso, and Sandoroff. Ooh. So JC3 got a lot of company right behind him as J, uh, the young Todd, the fellow, uh, the fellow racer from Spain, not wanting to let him go. Maybe JC3 testing out some things. So he was already, whoa, Figueredo taking a big jump. He wants to take one victory. I think this is what we've been waiting for all day, a battle between these two top drivers. Oh, no, that's actually David Todd and... Figueredo, so JC3 letting these guys race ahead. He's just going to hang back in second and do some testing. Going to let these guys put on a show. David Todd, the young driver from Spain versus the 10-time national champion here in Portugal, Litos Figueredo. Litos in that orange car, black wing. And you see Todd right there in that white wheeled blue and red car. That is a Mugen. That's Techno versus Mugen versus s -Rex versus X-Ray. It's Todd, Figueredo, JC3, Montero, Musso, and Sandoroff. Todd coming by. That's going to be a 34-6 to 35-2 for him. They are separated by tenths of a second, but a lot closer in track as they go up on it. Todd clips that pipe, but no harm, no foul. Lito's not able to capitalize on that. As you can see, the groove forming in this track. And there is Todd going back over the Dragon's back. Double, triple is the order for the day. Canas just waiting behind to see if there's any mistakes. Figueredo having a hard time there. Second time we've seen him get up on that pipe. As Litos wants to take a win here on his home turf of Portugal. As we follow these cars going up over the jump. There's JC3 doing a double single. And it looks like Litos got in front of him on that 180. And Litos is going to look to push away, pull away from him. The techno driver from Portugal is about to have a rear view mirror. He is now the hunted, not the hunter anymore. As he makes his way through this S section through the 180s. And around the back section to go to the Dragon's back. He needs to be perfect through here because David Todd is on him. And they make it smoothly transitioning through there through the quads. Double, double into the face of that jump by Figueredo as he goes over the next double. Will he double single here? Does he have the forward bite to do it? Nope. Single, double on tap. As we see JC3 going double single. And David Todd, a 34-4, 34-2 for Figueredo. And Todd is right behind him. He had a look, but he couldn't make it stick. Then he makes it. Ooh, and it was so close. But Lito shuts the door down on the young man from Spain. He is not going on without a fight. These two are putting on an epic battle for us. We saw them battle it out a little bit earlier for second place. JC3 just hanging behind, waiting for the capitalize on any mistakes they might make. And there we see Yao Figueredo just jumping right back into the face of that jump. Let's see, let's see. It seems like Yao is just a little bit faster than <coughs> David Todd right here as they come barreling on the straightaway. Figueredo going into a drift. Can Todd make it again? He looked how to look on the inside. He's going on the inside. Lito slams the door on him once again. And Lito clips that pipe. Gets a little bit fishtail there, but no harm, no foul. We have a three-way train. First, second, and third right behind each other. JC3 just checking up a little bit. Figueredo is on it. Gets up on the pipe again. It'll cost him a little bit of a time. Todd trying to capitalize on that as they come back around. This is the fast section for Figueredo. Single, double. Is Todd going to go for it as he flies, as they come down to the straightaway across the loop they go? That was a 34-6 for Figueredo that time. This is where we're seeing Todd make inroads on him, but now, no, he's not able to. But in front of Figueredo is traffic. Good job by our race director for calling traffic for him, as these two are going to race it out to take. I'm not sure what they will be overall. We'll see once it's done. Figueredo, triple, double, triple. Looking a lot more calm coming through there. Can David Todd... Make end road. Six minutes and seven seconds left to go in this race. It's Figueredo, Carrasco, Monte uh, Figueredo, Todd, Carrasco, Montero, and Thomas Musso. So, but this is the race for first. These guys want to battle it out to the very end. Oh, and there we see David just having a look on the inside, getting it a little bit wide. They're getting out in the fluff, going to lose some time, but he makes it back, back up as they go back over the dragon's back. There you see Litos, the orange, yellow, and white car, black wing. Just holding off his young, competitive driver driving him Yugen. So we have a C-Hub car in Techno, followed by two pillar ball cars chasing down that learned Techno. Oh, and it looks like David Todd has a look. He looks on the inside, but Litos once again slams the door as they go to a full-wheel drift around that 180. These guys putting on a 
show for all of you at home. I hope you guys are enjoying what they're doing. E-Buggy pays the bills, nitrous to glory, but right now it's all about E-Buggy as Joao pulls out a little bit of a uh, gap between him and David Todd. Joao just casing that jump, and that's going to allow David Todd to just catch right back up to him, and he's going to have a rear view mirror full of David Todd is JC3. And we see Joao coming single, double, not taking any chances, not going for the double single like JC3. Joao, a slight gap on the straightaway as that car motors on the straightaway, goes into a four-wheel drift, and there we see Joao with a slight, slight gap. But we have some traffic in front of him. Hopefully, they'll get out of the way and let these three race. JC3 just hanging behind, watching the racing from behind, trying not to mess these guys up. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Yo, I don't know if he looks like he had a little brown out or something just now, but he just went very wide and he had to force that car back into line. So now David Todd is out front as he makes it through there. Let's see what it's going to be. David Todd, and they are back together once again as they come down the straightaway. Not sure what happened to the Yao Figueredo's car just now, but something, maybe a little brown out as they make their way through some traffic. Litos got to do it all over again with four minutes to go and a fast, hard charging JC3 behind him. David Todd now becomes the hunted as Lito sets his sights on him. Litos, let's see, making it smooth around there. You see, he had no problems just now keeping it in the line. He's challenging the young man from Spain driving the Mugen. That car, number two. And they go through that jump. Oh, Litos has a look on the inside. Unable to make that pass. Let's see if he can catch up. This is where David Todd has been very fast. But those two cars right in front of them, it might cause some problems, some back lap traffic very good by that white car pulling out of the way letting our leaders race by there's one two and three we have the techno of litos figurito from portugal the young man from spain uh, david todd in first litos in second and jc3 already wrapped this up with two a2 finals just hanging back and trying to capitalize on any mistakes and it's getting close as they come along straight away and litos flying i don't know if he did the double single i couldn't see it was off camera but i think he did now taking the risks that he needs to do Litos pushing even harder with that yellow, white, and orange techno black wing right behind David Todd. They were separated by mere tenths of a second, and it's a lot close on the track as they go up. Oh, we see David just getting those wheels up on the pipe. No harm, no foul. He's able to keep that co car under control. Litos very fast here. Can he make a pass as he throws that car almost into the face of the jump? Will Litos go double single here? Nope, he does not have the pace to do that. He takes the smart move, drifts around the corner, tries to have a look on the inside, and they go flying down the straightaway. That was a 34 flat versus a 34-4 versus a 34 flat. Fast lap for Litos in second. He is hounding down the young man from Spain, making him make a mistake, but David Todd not falling under pressure so far. Two minutes and 17 seconds left to go as they go back over that dragon's back. Around this 180, Litos having a look. Going to send it into the face. Of, oh, and Litos has a crash! And that's going to be it. And what JC3 rightfully lets him by. He knows he wants to let these guys race it out. Does not want to get uh, in the way. He's already won this. David Todd got a little bit of breathing room with one minute and 55 seconds left to go in this race as he doubles that jump. And through the straightaway, through that little off cambered section, he goes. And through the S sections, Litos has a lot of work to do with very little time. We're almost down to 90 seconds left in this final. Can the Portuguese national champion make some inroads on his new ride, that techno car, and he jumps. That was a clean, clean line from Litos. Can he catch up the young driver from Spain who's fully focused? He wasn't smiling. He wasn't smiling at all yesterday. It was all business for the young man, David Todd, in that Mugen car over that double. He goes around the 180 and through this little section. He goes, Litos trying to get the power to the ground on those Temecula tires by Hot Race with that techno ride. Chasing down this young driver. Does he have enough time with one minute and five seconds left to go? We shall see. This man has been unflappable so far in this race. It's been an impressive weekend for the young man from Spain. His father would be happy if it finishes like this. He's had a good run. But can Litos push the issue? And I think he is. He is trying. He made a little bit of inroads. He has two laps left to go. Can we see the Techno trump the Mugen? Portugal versus Spain right now. Can he get a win for his home country here in Guarda, Portugal? Lito's been racing quite a lot. He was over at DNC. Now he has to chase down this young driver, and he is flying. Lito's is on it. He is over jumping. He is trying to get and catch up to young Todd. There we see. They're getting closer and closer. One more lap to go when they go by. Will Lito's go double single? 
Oh, no, he goes. I, I can't tell because we got off the camera. One lap left to go. Can the young driver from Spain hold off and hold off one of the fastest racers in Europe, in the world? That is Joao Figueredo. Figueredo on it right now. JC3 just kind of pulled off and let these guys run. We have, it's going to come down to the wire. Oh no, Lido's getting it up on the pipe. That's going to cost him some tenths of a second. But he is right there. He's going to send it. I think Lito's going to send it. No responsibility. And they are neck and neck as they come around. Can Lito's get it? I see him setting up for the inside. He's going to double. And he almost gets it up. there. Is he going to get it on the inside? Oh no. Well done. Well done. That was awesome. That was a great race. I saw what Litos was trying to do. And what an exceptional race at the end. Oh, man. That was awesome. Good job, David Todd, taking the win. I'm not quite sure where that puts him overall. But that was an unflappable race by the young man with a hard-charging uh, Joao Figueredo. Well done, David Todd. Welcome. You, I th we'll see. Let's see how it'll finish. What a great race that was. What's up, Mr. Chili? How you doing, man? Good to see you in the chat. <clears throat> That's actually going to end our race. It's actually David Todd, Yal Figueredo, Thomas Musso in third, Ricardo Montero, Harold Sandoval, Juan Carlos Canas, Carlos Fonseca, uh, Kristen Vila, and Ruri Britas. I will get uh, an online report for you guys and let you know who actually has won this. Give me a second before we, before we, we tap out of her. So let's see. Do they have it up and going yet? Ranking lists. I will let you know. Give me a second, everybody. So, um, it looks like it's going to be Juan Carlos Glass obviously taking the win, followed by young David Todd. He has a one and a two, it looks like. Yao Figueredo for two and a three. Ricardo Montero, Thomas Musso in fifth. Harold Sandoval in sixth. Kristen Vilar seventh. Carlos Fonseca eighth. And Rui Britas in ninth. Ah, uh, the last lap was awesome. It was awesome. What a great run by these guys. Awesome job. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna what we're gonna do here as they do a tro uh, trophy presentation. Are we gonna film that? No. We're uh, from according to my producer, we are done for the day. I want to thank you guys for joining us. It's been a killer day here. Uh, after some rain, a big kudos to the Portuguese Federation for all their hard work and the club OS Berrios for all their hard work as well. Uh, a big shout out to our sponsors, Rudolf EU, s -Works, Hot Race Tires, Hobby Wing, and X-Ray. As we get ready to sign off, and you know, you guys have been lifting, listening to Lefty the Great of the No Name RC Podcast. Thank you guys. I've had a fun, a fun weekend talking to you guys. Uh, I know you guys are going to go over and watch PNB. I am too. And congratulations, John Carlos Canas, S-Works, J Concepts, and Reds are your 2024 E-Buggy World Cup. But guess what? It's all for all the marbles next year in September in 2025 in Barcelos when we have the first ever IFMAR World Championship. And we can't wait for that as well. With that said, a big thank you to all of you guys. A big shout out from the RC Racing TV crew and everybody here. We will see you all later. I'll be at the North Georgia Shootout in two weeks. I hope you guys all tune in. And I hope you guys enjoy PMB. Congratulations, John Carlos Canas, S Works, Reds, and J Concepts. That said, Nitro is the glory. E Buggy pays the bills. Lefty and crew, we're out. Have a good day.